Are you tired of being broken GTA Online? Having to do heists all day, but still having less than 10 mil? If you want to avoid all of that, you need an extra mods, where you can get money boosting, level boosting, and even modded accounts for all consoles and PC as well. It's not only easy to purchase, but they have 24-7 customer support and great reviews too. Check out extra mods in the description. Use coupon code JSTACKS for 5% off. Alright, it's JSTAX Games. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get the purple joggers, the orange joggers, the purple helmet, the orange helmet, and the purple and orange duffel bag in GTA 5 Online. First off, you wanna bookmark all the jobs I put in the description, so go ahead, the link's in the description. And you're gonna wanna purchase a pair of gloves if you don't have any already, so to go ahead and purchase them. If you have already, then you're good. Alright, so now we're gonna go to jobs, play jobs, we're gonna go to bookmarked, and we're gonna go to last team standing and start up a power play. Alright, once you start up, just invite a friend. If you don't have any friends, join my Discord. We got a lot of people in there from uh, different consoles, stuff like that. You can make some friends, so join up. Alright, so now that the power play is starting, all we're gonna do is just open the interaction menu. I'm gonna walk you through it right here. So we're gonna open the interaction menu, we're gonna go to style, we're gonna go to accessories, and we're gonna go to gloves, and we're just gonna change it once. And now we're just gonna go ahead and quit the job, and we're gonna spawn with this outfit. As you can see we spawned with the outfit, we got the orange joggers, we got the helmet. So now we're just gonna go head over to any store and save it. So it doesn't matter which store, I'm gonna go to the gun store because it's the closest to me. So just go ahead and head on over there. Alright so now that we're here we're just gonna save the outfit on an empty slot or any slot. I'm just gonna name it orange so I don't get confused and then now if you want the no ankles with it. You just gotta go to shoes and just change them. So I'm gonna show you right here. Uh, I'm gonna put the Crocs on it, you know? Orange Crocs, just to match it. Alright, so now that we got the orange joggers and the orange helmet, now we're just gonna get the purple ones. Go ahead and save that. And now we're gonna get our friend to invite us to it so we can get the purple ones. So get your friend to bookmark it and invite you if you want the purple ones. Alright, so now that we spawned in, we're readying up, we're gonna get the purple ones and we're just gonna do the same thing that we did before. I'm just gonna speed it up so this video is a little shorter. So we're gonna open the interaction menu, style, accessories, and just change the gloves. And then we're just gonna quit the job. Alright, so now that you spawned in with the outfit, just go ahead to the clothing store again to save it. So I just put up to the same ammunition. And I'm just gonna go save it right here. I'm gonna name it purple so I don't get confused. Purple joggers, duffel bag, all of that. We're gonna get all of that today. Alright, so now we saved it. If you want the invisible ankles on it again, just go to shoes. I'm gonna put the purple crocs as well to match the other one. Just save this again real quick. Alright, so now that we got both of these, you can see that it's saved, we can cycle through it. Now we're going to go ahead and get the duffel bags for it. So let's start off with orange. You're going to go to online, jobs, play jobs. You're going to go to bookmarked and go to last team standing. And then you're going to go to orange duffel bag. Alright, so now that you started it up, just go ahead and invite your friend and ready it up. I'm on my second character, by the way. So um, I'm going to show you guys what will happen with a duffel bag on your second character but once you spawn in with a duffel bag just open interaction menu go to style go to illuminated clothing and just hold right on the d-pad for about 30 seconds just cycle through it for 30 seconds all 
I'm not on my main character right now, I'm on my second character, so the duffel bag will disappear. If you're on your main character, it doesn't matter, you'll spawn with it, but if it disappears, you're on your second character, I'll show you what to do, a quick fix to get it back. Alright, so as you can see, I spawned with the orange duffel bag and it disappeared because I'm on my second character. If you're on your main character, you should have a duffel bag right now, but I'm going to show you guys how to fix that real quick if you're on your second character. So you're going to go to swap characters. Alright, so now you can see that we are at the character selection screen, so we're just going to select our second character again, so we're just going to press X on PlayStation, A on Xbox, and then we're just going to spawn with this orange duffel bag. Alright, so as you can see, we spawn back with the orange duffel bag, so now we're just going to go ahead and call out our buzzard or you can use a sparrow or a presser it doesn't really matter just call that out and we're gonna fly to the mass store at the beach and we're gonna do some parachuting to save the duffel bag so just go ahead and call out um, your buzzard sparrow presser it doesn't matter and head over there all right so now that we're here we're just gonna make sure you call Lester and do cop turn blind eye before you jump I kinda did it but you can also bribe authorities the point of that is so the cops don't come on you when you crash the helicopter when it breaks but as you can see we're parachuting and we're gonna spam right on the d-pad when we hit the mass door as you can see I did it wrong I went too high but it's okay we still have the duffel bag so we're gonna go ahead for our second attempt alright so now I'm gonna call Lester right here in advance because if this helicopter crashes we'll get cops and we won't be able to enter the mass door so we're gonna parachute out and we're gonna try to line this up as perfectly as we can I noticed here that um, I'm not gonna make it so I just did a little loop to loop to kill some air time so we can land perfect it takes practice parachuting if you need help again join the discord but yeah we're gonna parachute into this right here and once we hit it we're gonna spam right on the d-pad so as you can see I'm spamming right on the d-pad I'm spamming right and let us get in we're gonna save it over orange and the saved outfit saved and as you can see we got the orange duffel bag so now that we got that we're gonna get the purple one so now we're just gonna go ahead and go to online go to jobs we're gonna go to play job bookmarked last team standing and then we're gonna select the purple duffel bag now all right so once again just invite your friend to join up for the purple duffel bag and then just ready up Alright, so now we're going to open the interaction menu, go to style, and then just cycle through illuminated clothing for 30 seconds. You can hold right on the d-pad to cycle through it, doesn't really matter, for 30 seconds, and then we're going to quit the job. You can use the timer in the bottom right corner to see how long 30 seconds is, or you could just count in your head. Alright, so now that we did that, we quit it. Again, if you're on your main character, you will spawn with the duffel bag right now. I'm on my second, so I'm not, so I'm going to show you guys how to fix that again same as with the orange yeah the second character is kind of glitchy because of transfers and stuff like that I don't know it's just kind of glitchy but as you can see we're spawning in right now I spawned in it disappeared because I'm on my second character if you're on your main character you would have the duffel bag right now so we're gonna go to online and then we're just gonna go to swap character Alright, as you can see, we're back out here, so we have the duffel bag on, so we're just going to click our character, select our second character, and it's just going to bring us back down with that duffel bag. As you can see, we spawn with the purple duffel bag now, so now we're just going to go ahead and do the same thing. Call out our buzzard, or sparrow if you have one, or your oppressor, or even if you have no helicopters, you could just find one and just parachute out so we're gonna bribe authorities before we jump so our helicopter doesn't blow up and get cops on us so let's see if we can hit this first try I noticed that like we ain't got that much air time so I trying to do a loop-de-loop 
Alright, let's see if we can get it. As you can see, we're a little short sometimes. If you do that way, it'll work, but it didn't, so it's alright. We're just gonna try again. Second attempt. Let's see if we get our second attempt. Cops turn blind eye. We're parachuting out. As long as you have the duffel bag on, you can still parachute as much times as you want. So let's go. We're going in. We're coming in hot. As soon as we hit that, we're spamming right on the D-pad. Spam right. And as you can see, we enter. We save it over purple. And it saved outfits. And then we got both duffel bags. So this is how you get both duffel bags. Don't forget to like and subscribe this is how you get the joggers as well and the helmets comment down below if it worked for you join my discord we're building a gta 5 online community i'm going to show you guys that it actually works with their first character so you can stick around for that but you already know it's jay Sass games and we out